And new this morning, the FAA grounding all Boeing 737 MAX 9s after a mid-air scare Friday in which a panel blew off an Alaska Airlines flight. Pretty incredible. A door plug falling off. You can see it here. It was later found in someone's yard in Portland, Oregon. And you can see the large hole in the side of the plane more clearly in this video. Oxygen mass dangling from the ceiling there. The pilot later safely making an emergency landing. That's the good news. Our Dre Clark has been following it all. He has the very latest on this story. Hey, Dre. Kelly, good morning to you. Yeah, the FAA now temporarily grounding 171 Boeing 737 MAX 9 airplanes operated by U.S. carriers around the world. The grounding following that incredibly scary incident that happened over the weekend uh, when a panel blew off of an Alaskan Airlines flight while it was 16,000 feet in the air. Yeah, this is video from inside the airplane minutes after that blowout occurred. Flight 1282 departed Portland, Oregon, headed to Ontario, California, Friday evening. 20 minutes into the flight, passengers say they heard a loud boom. I thought it was just, you know, air pressure in my ears. But I look up and I see the oxygen masks are down to our face. And I look to my side and the whole, like, whole piece of the wall of the plane just is completely off. And you can see that large hole that was left in the airplane side there. The pilot was able to turn the plane around and land, land safely. Luckily, no one was seriously injured. Meanwhile, the NTSB says it was a good thing that passengers were not seated close to the panel or the middle seat in the row uh, where that panel blew off. This picture also showing the NTSB's uh, investigator in charge examining the fuselage plug area, uh, which is used to fill the space where there is an emergency exit not used on that side of the plane. That, of course, is the area where the blowout happened. There's concern that bolts which fasten the panel plug to the airframe can actually come loose. Last month, Boeing advised airlines operating all 737 MAX jets uh, to check closely for loose bolts in the airplane's rudder control system. Now, each of the 171 MAX 9 planes will have to be carefully inspected before being deemed airworthy again, and there's no indication of how long that process will take from start to finish. There was a lot of uh, damage to paneling, to trim, uh, to the windows, meaning the internal portion of the, the window. That's the, plexiglass, uh, the plastic portion, but the seal in the windows were still intact. Uh, some uh, of the um, insulation was pulled out in some areas. Uh, those are all not critical to the structure of the aircraft. Now, the FAA released a statement saying, in part, safety will continue to drive our decision making as we assist the NTSB's investigation into Alaska Airlines Flight 1282. Alaska Airlines also releasing a statement yesterday saying we are awaiting further instructions from the FAA and Boeing to begin the required inspections on the door plug of our 737-9 MAX fleet and will share information as we are able. Now, the Boeing 737 uh, MAX model has been involved in a few catastrophes over the last few years here. Uh, in 2018 and 2019, the airline, the uh, carrier actually crashed there after there were some issues involving a poorly designed cockpit software issue that brought planes down in both Indonesia and Ethiopia, killing uh, almost 400 people. Boeing went ahead and grounded the MAX jet uh, for about 20 months or so until they could get that problem figured out. Kelly? Well, thank God everyone was okay this time. Trey Clark, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.